Today we're diving into knee osteoarthritis. How to identify it, the best exercises, and what to do if those don't work. Knee osteoarthritis, or knee OA, can be incredibly painful and impact your daily life. But don't worry, we're here to help you manage it. How do you know if you have knee osteoarthritis? One simple test is pressing on the joint line where your tibia and femur meet. If it's painful on either side, OA might be present. However, the gold standard of diagnosis is an X-ray. An X-ray will grade the severity from early, mild, moderate, and severe. But remember, X-rays don't tell the whole story. Many people will have OA visible on X-rays, but their symptoms may stem from other issues like ligament injuries or meniscus tears, especially if symptoms started following an injury. So get a full assessment to rule out other causes. So the top five exercises for knee osteoarthritis, number one is gonna be heel slides. So start here if pain is severe. Slide your heel back as far as comfortable, don't force it, and then slowly back. This keeps the joint moving, promoting synovial fluid to lubricate it. Two is inner range quads. Place a towel or pillow under your knee and straighten your leg to activate the quad. This is a low impact exercise that most can do without pain. Three is a sit to stand. Strengthen your legs and improve your joint movement doing this exercise. Start from a high surface like a bed, progressing to a lower chair if it gets too easy, but ensure it's not aggravating your knee. Number four is bridging. So lie on your back and lift your hips, contracting your glutes at the top and slowly return. Do this on a bed if the floor is too difficult. Five is an active straight leg raise. This is a good progression from exercise two. Keep your legs straight, engage your quad and lift to 45 degrees. Hold briefly and then slowly lower. These exercises will help strengthen the leg muscles, particularly the quads. But there's several other exercise options you can do. Basically anything that will help strengthen the leg muscles, especially the quads, without aggravating any of the osteoarthritis symptoms. Remember, you have to combine these with activity modification. Don't overdo it. Pacing your daily activity is key. If pain worsens the next day, it's a sign that you've done too much. So what do you do if exercises aren't helping? So if the exercises and activity modification aren't enough, the next steps depend on the severity of your OA. The first option is to stay non-invasive, so to continue with the exercise for a bit longer. The benefit of these is they have minimal side effects and can make you stronger and fitter. It might just need more time. Even if not helping with pain relief, continue with it to keep as much strength as possible in the legs. Two is a steroid injection. These can relieve pain. They won't cure OA, but can offer temporary relief. They're especially useful if they're preventing you from doing the exercises. The third is a surgical option. So normally this is for more moderate to severe osteoarthritis, or if your quality of life is heavily impacted. A knee replacement might be necessary. This can be a partial or a total replacement, but surgery does come with some risks. However, it can significantly improve your quality of life if other treatments have failed. Even post-surgery, pain can persist though, so it's crucial to do strengthening exercise before and after knee surgery. Knee replacements generally have lower satisfaction rates compared to ones like hip replacements, so keep that in mind. So we have all of the information for the loads of conditions on our website, including this one. There are 11 step guides to helping you sort a condition out, including everything about what it is, important things to look out for before starting the rehab program, our AMR approach to maximize recovery, and a step-by-step -step rehab program split into levels, including how to approach it. It's got a weekly exercise tracker, and an activity diary to know what needs modifying. And we go through how long we expect it to take and what to do if things aren't working. This is a great resource. If you want in all the information you could want about a condition and how to improve it all in one place and a really great way to support the channel so we can get more videos like this out. For more information, the link is in the description. Additional resources for detailed guidance on rep sets and activity modification, then check out this video here. We've got you covered with all the information you need to help with managing knee OA effectively. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more tips and exercises. Stay strong and stay active.